Prior to preparing the workspace and working with your sample, put on your personal protective equipment, including gloves and a lab coat. Remember, your safety is first. A bilge pump will drive the elution process. Secure the bilge pump outside the biosafety cabinet using two C-clamps. The bilge pump is located outside the biosafety cabinet to prevent contamination. Disinfect the biosafety cabinet and surfaces using your lab's approved methods, such as Oxivir or Vircon, followed by UV. Line the biosafety cabinet with bench paper in case of any spills. You may then place the reagents and materials inside the biosafety cabinet, including 300 milliliters of sterile 1.5% beef extract with 0.05 molar glycine at a pH of 9.5, 50 milliliters of concentrated 5% bleach solution in a small beaker, 5 molar hydrochloric acid, 5 molar sodium hydroxide, pH strips with a range of 6.0 to 10.0, one syringe for eluate injection, a collection bottle with at least 300 milliliter capacity. This should be labeled with appropriate sample identification information. For example, include the filter ID, sampling location, date, and your initials. Tubing for the elution device, VacuGuard filters to contain bioaerosols. A sterile collection cup with a modified lid fits inside the front circular support on the elution device stand. The elbow port should face toward the filter stand. The collection cup will hold your eluate after elution. Connect the collection cup and the pump. Do this by attaching the long, small diameter tubing to the collection cup lid's straight outlet. To prevent aerosols from entering the pump, attach a VacuGuard filter to this tubing, with the inlet facing the collection cup. Finally, connect the very long, small diameter tubing to the bilge pump and the VacuGuard filter. Attach the very short, wide diameter tubing to the collection cup lid's elbow inlet. You are now ready to bring your sample into the biosafety cabinet. If any liquid remains inside the viral cap filter, remove the filter's black top inlet cap and empty the liquid into the small beaker filled with bleach. Carefully remove the bottom black outlet cap and attach it to the tubing on the collection cup. Place the filter in the filter stand. Remove the white cap from the filter vent and attach the short, small diameter tubing and a VacuGuard filter. The VacuGuard inlet should face the viral cap filter. This will help vent the filter when you inject the eluent and help prevent cross-contamination. Remove the black cap from the top filter inlet and attach the short, wide diameter tubing. Your setup should look like this, and you are now ready to elute your sample.